Hi Leo, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. Today we are going to find out your important general messages for year 2022. This is a general reading and it will not and it will not resonate with each and every one of you. All right, Leo, let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me important messages for Leo 2022. Wow, Ace of Wands. Show me more. Ace of Swords here and we're first at the bottom of the deck. Leo, so the first card came out, Ace of Wands. This may indicate a new beginning. Some of you, if you are single, feels like you're going to have this new start with somebody. Very passionate uh, connection. A connection that looks like it's going to grow and both of you are going to be very hot and heavy together. <laughs> and also Ace of Wands can indicate creativity, okay? Something new. Uh, maybe you're going to be feeling much more creative next year, 2022, or doing something very creative and just slowly growing it into something here okay but for most of you leo again if you're single or if you're already with somebody right now is the ones can indicate it you know starting to bloom starting to grow into something here okay and is the ones is uh again new beginning feels like it's new okay brand new something brand new someone brand new new connection new project new creativities uh, you could be embarking on in year 2022 and also we've got the world here in reverse the strength and reverse this is actually your energy right leo it's like a spark of an idea as well ace of wands can indicate you having this new idea uh, about someone or about your life <clears throat> um something you've never done before right uh the world reverse can indicate stuck going round and round and round in circles it feels a little bit like you know like a hamster running it running in a wheel right with it being in reverse like going round and round in circles and not going anywhere maybe this has been whatever that's been going on in your life this this whole year 2021 but i feel like next year it's going to change right some of your strength here is in reverse like you just can't stand it anymore like Maybe it could be a lifestyle or a certain situation, environment, or an environment could be in. And it's just going like the same old, same old. I feel like you're just kind of starting to grow sick and tired of it. Uh, and then you've got this new idea. Some of you, it's like you actually making this idea happen, okay? It could be with somebody. It could be starting a new relationship with somebody or changing your, your lifestyle, changing your environment, you know, a spark of a new idea. Again, it's like, you know what? I have an idea. I don't actually have to go round and round in circles. I don't actually have to do the same thing over and over and over again. I can actually think out of the box and do something different. So I feel like Leo next year, a lot of you are going to be doing something very different, okay? And it's going to be very exciting as well because once it's an excitement energy, right? You're going to be very excited about this new beginning, this new endeavor, or this new life path, or this new relationship. Four of Cups here in reverse feels like anything that you feel like, okay, I may have missed this opportunity, either being with somebody or doing something here. I feel like suddenly 2022 it's like you actually didn't quite miss that opportunity right you're gonna see it uh come out of nowhere either come out of nowhere or growing it changes i feel like there is a change but a change that's gonna make you feel very excited right with the ace of wands here king of cups here is a reverse eight of cups as a reverse King of Cups in reverse also can indicate either somebody feeling really overwhelmed or feeling really stuck in the past. That's exactly what I was talking about. Like, Leo, if you've been going around, again, it's like you, it's like you're running in this hamster wheel. I definitely see that, right? It's like, when am I going to catch a break here? When are things going to change? And I feel like 2023, things are going to change for sure with the Ace of Wands. So that's a good sign. And also we've got the Four of Wands. This indicates stability changes uh, in regards of your residence. For some of you, you're changing, um, you're moving to a different place. Or it could be you starting a relationship with somebody that's going to turn into uh, a very stable connection because if you look at the ace of wands that's only one one here and that's the beginning and then now you're gonna have four uh eventually i feel like maybe in january march maybe in april sometime in april 
um, maybe you will move in with somebody or a relationship will be stabilized. Four ones also can indicate marriage. Some of you could be thinking about marrying somebody, somebody could be thinking about marrying you, but I definitely see a relationship here, uh, Leo, that is going to turn into a stable relationship. Uh, some of you may not even talk about it yet with the King of Swords here in reverse or not know it yet or not haven't even met this person. Some of you maybe you already have met this person because this is actually sitting in your past position. So um, unless you're completely, completely single, I feel like that could be also a chance of somebody could be feeling uh, like they can't move on from you, okay? This person may reach out. This is somebody you may not have been speaking a lot with or have spoken with for a while as well. So we've got the Queen of Cups here. Got the King and the Queen here. So, so supposed to be a true match, right? Mm, you may be meeting a true match in year 2023. I feel like with the four ones, mm, this may indicate either both of you are going to build a life together, start a new relationship again, or this person is just here to stay. That's what I'm getting here. This person is uh, very compassionate, very kind, also can be highly intuitive. Let's see more. Can be any sign, okay? This person can be a uh, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, somebody like you, Leo, Gemini, uh, Aries. Can be any sign. Let's see more. Ace of Swords here is in reverse, Seven of Swords, and we've got the Page of Wands here. I feel like this has already happened, uh, Leo. Perhaps you could have been dealing with somebody who was lying, uh, cheating as well. I see this person reaching out to you, 2023, in your 20... Oh, it, if it was vice versa, if you were the one who did that instead, I see you reaching out to this person, okay? Again, all of my readings, it could go vice versa. We've got the Four Swords, the Tower, and it's going to be very unexpected. You wouldn't expect this person to reach out to you, or that you wouldn't expect yourself to reach out to this person. I feel like with the Four Swords, there could be some... Um, this unsettling feeling in regards to how things have may have ended between the two of you here the nine of cups in reverse somebody whom is really unhappy again it's like unhappiness discontented with how things have ended okay how the way both of you could have parted your own ways um I feel like someone, someone is going to try and apologize to you. This person has done you quite a number here with the tower. I feel like uh, the way things ended was either very dramatic or very unexpected. You may have found out here, right? With the Seven of Swords, this person may not have been as sincere as you thought they were. Or it could go vice versa. All right, Leo. Let's see more. Yeah, I feel like the death card is here. That means an ending. Uh, 2021, you're going to close out that chapter, uh, Leo. You're going to transform your life. 2023, in your next year, within a few days, time, 10 of cups, you're going to be finally looking forward towards the future, right? Could be with somebody. Could be you starting a family. Uh, could be getting pregnant or getting somebody pregnant or getting married. I definitely see that moving in together. I see that happening for a lot of you, uh, Leo. Only if you take actions, all right, Leo. And the thing is, like, people who watch uh, all of these terror videos, right, they think that if we we were to predict, yeah, you're going to be in a relationship, that means you're definitely going to be in a relationship if you're, like, sitting home and doing nothing about it, then that's never going to happen, okay? A very small chance that's going to happen. But I feel like, you know, with tarot reading, what I love about it is that you can change the outcome, right? It's a choice. So if it's your choice, if you're single and you want to meet somebody, then you've got to make an effort. you got to do something about it, not just not sitting around not doing anything about it i just want to say that because you know uh, some people will be like you say i'm gonna meet somebody but i haven't yet but uh, <laughs> but at the same time they're not doing anything about it right but anyway five of wands here is in reverse you're gonna move away from drama uh a lot of you are gonna move move away from drama um also i feel like Moved, uh, move away from drama and moving towards with the Ten of Cups here towards happiness. Seeing, uh, you know, looking further. I feel like a lot of you are looking further into the future as in, you know, how am I going to retire? Who am I going to marry? <laughs> am I going to start a family with this person? You know, it's like you're, you're thinking further ahead in 2023. So perhaps you'll be planning in regards to your future, like looking further ahead. Because 
for me even leo when i was like 17 or when i was 18 i remember my first boyfriend actually said was talking about marrying me like marriage like with my mother and everything i wasn't ready right i was like 17 or 18 i was like wait a minute i don't even know what i want yet <laughs> i'm so young i don't even know what i want yet i i don't know if i want to even get married or marry this person my my first ex-boyfriend right so but now i know what i want so i feel like this could be what's going on with some of you leo you could be like exactly knowing what you want in 2023 and you're looking way way further down the road uh you could be planning okay already thinking or imagining fantasizing about the future like when i was 17 18 i had i, I wasn't <laughs> i wasn't at all i was just like taking a day at a time and do whatever that I feel like, okay, it, it feels it feels good, it feels right, but at the same time, I didn't really quite have uh, that kind of support system, right? Because I came from a family that was divorced, so it was a little bit crazy. I mean, you know, bouncing around, being bounced around because of the divorce and everything, so I didn't really have that very stable support system, and that was why I wasn't being guided uh, properly, I think uh in planning about my future but now that i'm older and wiser <laughs> i'm already I'm, I'm starting to plan already as well all right leo i feel like this could be what that uh what you you what you'll be going through in 2023 it's like you're looking so far ahead now in regards to okay am i gonna start a family am i gonna get married am i gonna marry this person and what am i gonna do in my life um Am I going on an adventure with a page of wands here? Am I going to be doing something exciting? And a lot of planning. That's definitely what I'm getting here. And long-term planning for sure. All right, Leo, this is your reading. Hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with two playlists on the screen right now. The first one is from my... Um, second travel vlog channel and the the second one is from this channel so this channel uh the the second <laughs> the second playlist has all of my videos all of my videos i've ever posted here on youtube and also they are very very recent uh leo there could be some messages for you over there if you like to check it out different questions different topic um but in any case leo i'd like to wish you a happy new year and I hope to see you back here soon, hopefully sooner than later. I'm actually planning to to leave this country and there's a lot of uh, there are a lot of things that I need to plan and settle and stuff like that. That's why I've been so busy and also it's the holiday season. But anyway, I'm gonna do my best to post as soon as possible. But Leo, you're also one of my lowest viewed uh, sign, right? So sometimes I may skip your sign <laughs> if I'm too overwhelmed and uh, and if I'm done with a certain topic of a reading. But anyway, take care, Leo. Hope to see you back here. Bye.